Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the brand new for 2019 Papo Gorgosaurus. Gorgosaurus is an Albertosaurine Tyrannosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived in Alberta, Canada 76 to 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. It's obviously a carnivore and would have fed upon ceratopsians and hadrosaurs that lived in its environment. And without further ado, let's get into this figure. Now, let's address the elephant in the room immediately. It looks just like the Gorgosaurus from the Walking with Dinosaurs 3D movie, even though I believe that's technically now been reclassified as Nanooksaurus, which is a different kind of Tyrannosaur altogether. But either way, it's based on the Gorgosaurus that appears in that film. And while it does, I think it still looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's also absolutely tiny, and we'll get into the size later. The detail on this figure is unreal. There are a few things about it that I think are a bit odd, but yeah, the, overall this piece is incredible. Let's start with this head sculpt. Now let's focus the camera. Look at that scale detail. The eye looks amazing, very minimal shrink wrapping. The horns look amazing. We've got these uh, dermal scoots going down the spine. The teeth have been individually sculpted, got nostrils there. The coloration is very dark gray. And there's very light brown and dark browns as well, and the lower jaw as well. And articulated jaw, the interior of the mouth has been done amazingly well. The roof of the mouth tongue there, or painted pink, very minimal bleeding onto the teeth, I can't see any on this in particular, just look at this, it is incredible, and this jaw opens really wide, but I don't think it looks as great when it's all the way open, so I prefer to keep it uh, closed, well not closed, but more, slightly more closed than all the way, I think it looks better, the coloration on this figure is also really naturalistic. And some might say it's a bit dull because it's very brown with these black stripes which look way more pronounced in person than they do on the promo images and I honestly prefer this. Uh, when we move down from the head and the neck uh, I've got to focus again oop, oop, oop. there we go beautiful you can really tell how much detail Papa have put in, as always, into their figures. The arms, non-pronated hands. Gotta give them props for that. There are no feathers, but I don't believe there's been any evidence of feathers on Gorgosaurus in particular, so that's fine. Uh, I've got these very, very light spots here in the light brown, dark brown, uh, uh, black, sorry, stripes going all the way down the spine to the tail. Now, this is the main point of... Um, of I don't know what you call it, confliction on this figure, and that's the legs. They're posed in quite an odd way. If we look at it from the front, it does kind of look like it's squatting quite a bit. And it, it some people say it kind of looks like it's taking a poop or trying to sit down. Uh, I think from some, some angles it does look a little funny. But when you look at it uh, as a whole, I really don't think it's that big of an issue. Like from the back it looks quite quite humorous. The tail is a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit short or thin and it does curve quite a bit, it does have quite a rat like tail and it should probably be a bit thicker at the base as well maybe. Um, however, Gorgosaurus was probably quite a lightly built animal as this was not your typical heavily built Tyrannosaur. This was definitely more fleet footed than say Tyrannosaurus rex or Daspletosaurus as the way it is with Albertosaurian Tyrannosaurids and yeah yeah just and the feet as well let's look at the feet um come on focus focus there we go look at the scale detail on the feet we've got the dew claws on sides have kind of been sculpted no cloaca unfortunately but that's all right toe claws been done black scale on the feet got the Good old theropod bird feet, very muscular calves there, but they don't look like 
over the top, it's just very naturalistic. I get the tail, looks very cool, but again, I think it could have been a bit chunkier. And yeah, while the pose is a bit hit or miss with some people, and some people might say it's just a rip off of the Gorgosaurus from Walking Dinosaurs the 3D movie, I am in love with this figure. And it's so nice to finally have an Albertosaurian Tyrannosaur. Like, we have so, so many T-Rex figures that it's nice to get a different Tyrannosaur that isn't a T-Rex. And an Albertosaurian. Granted, there's only two of them, Gorgosaurus itself and Albertosaurus. But I, I love both of these animals. And I'm so glad we have a representative of it. Also looks... Is it just me or does it also look very, very similar to the Albertosaurus in Primeval New World, which I am a fan of? Now, earlier I said about the size of this figure, and when we look at the size, I was blown away by how tiny this was. In terms of length, just barely um, under 18 and a half centimeters long. And in terms of the height, uh, just shy of eight centimeters I'd say so very small but my problem is that this figure was quite expensive in the UK I got this for about 17 pounds thereabout and for the amount of plastic I got I don't know if I'd say that's a worthy price now granted the detail and the sculpt are wonderful I just wish <laughs> there was more meat to it I just wish it was a little bit bigger but that's, these are all very nitpicky things of what is overall a wonderful, wonderful figure from Papo. Granted, this is the one of only two new sculpts we got from Papo this year. The other being the Pentaceratops, which I might pick up because I've seen some reviews and it looks wonderful as well. I'm very, very happy with this one. And it does not, it's not a tripod. Now, you can rest it on the tail but it does stand on its own two feet. There you go. Now granted mine doesn't always want to stand on its own feet, it does tip on its tail sometimes, but that's quite rare. It's a very small problem and I really can't dock this figure point. If you would like to pick up one for yourself, if you live in the UK or anywhere really, I highly, highly recommend everythingdinosaur.com. Their service is unmatched, it is unreal. They are the nicest people ever, and yeah, they're just, the pricing is excellent. I just, I don't think, I don't blame them for the pricing of this figure. I think that's just Papo in general. I think their figures in general are a little bit overpriced, but you do get a lot of detail for your money. So yeah, that's all I have to say on this figure. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye now.